and the need for relevant quality and timely information is very critical to sustain the fight against corruption in Ghana and help us in our nation building efforts. Now to explore this subject further, the National Commission on Civic Education with support from the European Union brings you the seventh National Arab Dialogue on the team rights to information on Tuesday, 18th, August, 2020. With me in studio is Joyce Efutu, who is Director of Communications and Corporate Affairs. Ms. Efutu, good afternoon. Good Great afternoon. to see Daniel. you. Daniel, yes. It's so what is the Arab Dialogue? Okay. Um, the NCC, we instituted a dialogue series since 2014. It is one of our civic engagement platforms where we engage the citizenry on democratic and uh, national pertinent issues. So for the Arab, in 2017, we had a partnership with Arab, and the Arab is an acronym. It means anti-corruption, rule of law, accountability, and environmental governance program. So we have engaged Ghanaians on several thematic areas, uh, including corruption, rule of law, environmental right. governance, and I think our fifth and sixth dialogues, we held it here on the coronavirus pandemic yeah. and then good environmental governance. Yeah. That's proper disposal of PPEs and how we can protect ourselves to contain the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. So where will the seventh be held? The seventh will be held in the Joy FM studios, Joy News, and then Joy FM will carry it live. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the coronavirus, we don't want to bring people together. Ideally, for our dialogues, we had people beyond 500 gathered in right. one venue where we bring the panelists and we discuss issues. But to help contain the spread, we don't need to mass people together and then educate. So we intend to hold it virtual. And, and what's I the think, topic? Yeah, the topic is right to information. Mm. And right to information is critical, as you have said in your intro. I mean, we are always encouraging people to participate in the democratic uh, processes. And how can they participate? They need information to, in order to help in the fight against corruption. Because if there are things going on, you don't have the right information. You can't access information. How then do you blow the whistle or come up with other issues? So we thought it uh, wise to, as part of our educational activities, mm. to hold this uh, dialogue to bring experts, those who have been in the forefront prior to the passage of the Rights Information Law Act 989, to come and then explain issues. For our dialogue, we intend to engage and empower Ghanaians and then so that they can also participate in the governance processes and also in the fight against corruption. Who are some of the experts who will be in the dialogue? Okay, we are looking at uh, Mrs. Linda Ufurukwafo, Vice Executive Director, Ghana Integrity Initiative. We also have Mina Mensa, who is Director, Africa Office of Commonwealth Human, Human Rights Initiative. And we are looking at uh, MP and then the chairman of the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee of Parliament. So they will be discussing uh, the right information processes. As involved. Benson Abdallah. Yeah, that's Ben Abdallah. Ben Abdallah. Ben Abdallah Banda. Ben Abdallah Banda. Yeah. Yes, Honorable, sorry. Offensive South. Honor your Offensive South MP. And he's also the chairman of the Constitutional, Constitutional Legal and, 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 Legal and, and Parliamentary Affairs yeah. Committee. Of Parliament. And it will be moderated by Samson Ladia. Yes, the face of NCC. Mm -hmm. Since we have been, he has been moderating our dialogue series since 2014. Wow. Uh, yes, so he will be moderating, God willing, uh, tomorrow. Okay, what should the viewers and the listeners be looking out for? Yes, we want the viewers and listeners to tune in to Joy News and Enjoy FM from 10 a.m. tomorrow to 11.30 a.m. That's one and a half hours. And then they should be looking at the right information. They will explain the right information law, processes involved in the assessing information. You know, the, if the information is urgent, it means you need to apply and then state reasons why it is urgent and it should be provided. If it is not urgent, you put in your application. You don't need to state uh, the reasons why you are applying and even the state of implementation of the law. You know, the law was passed last year mm -hmm. and we expect certain structures to be put in place for its implementation. So they will discuss all that and then limitations to assessing information. And even, you know, these assemblies, they are supposed to publish their annual accounts for the information of the people at the local level. Are they doing that? Are they not? How can citizens ensure that they enforce that thing? So these are some of the things that tomorrow they should be looking up to when we bring our people together on the 7th, this virtual Arab 
dialogue. So we we'll have uh, some uh, panelists in studio, then some will also join via Zoom. Okay, so um, once again, the time is 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And right. our partner has been the European Union, and we also have the Arab Coordinating Unit. They have helped us in our Arab program since 2017 up to this year. Joyce Afusu, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Mr. Dazi, <laughs> for the opportunity you know, of being in your studio and also engaging Ghanaians. So... The adults should be here tomorrow mm. from 10 to 11.30 a.m. As always, as always. Thank you so much. Uh, Joyce Afuso, of course, is Director of Communications at the National Commission for Civic Education.